Now, as we get started here, let's talk about where we're headed in this course overview. First of all, I'm going to give you some general certification info about the whole Microsoft certification system. Then we'll talk specifically about what we're planning to work toward with this exam. And this, we're trying to help get you prepared for exam 70-640. That's configuring Windows Server 2008 Active Directory. But keep in mind, on all of these uh, exams and all these prep materials, you're going to need more than just this video series. I tell my live students in classes, you're going to need more than this five-day course or more than these two weeks courses. You need to get a lot of hands-on on this. I would always look at a couple of resources, take this video, maybe one of the books you see out there in the bookstores and TechNet. I will tell you a couple of thousand times through this course, go to TechNet, read more about it. There's a lot of blogs, Microsoft themselves and their websites have a lot of webcasts and things. So anyway, you just want to immerse yourself in this stuff. Now, I've broken the exam into sections based on what Microsoft's going to test you on. The first section they list is configuring the Active Directory infrastructure, and so I start with that. And we talk about such things as Active Directory, what it is, just different generalities about it. I'll give you a little diagram about Active Directory. We talk about installing it, trust relationships in Active Directory, the functional level of the domains in the forest. We talk about Active Directory replication, global catalog servers, what they do, things you need to know about them. Then we talk about configuring DNS for Active Directory with some basics on DNS, configuring TTL and scavenging, which you'll hear a lot about sometimes on the exam. Those things tend to be confusing for people. Zone delegation, creating and maintaining Active Directory objects is the next section, and we'll talk about some admin tools, show you a trick there. Then we'll talk about creating organizational units, creating users, creating groups, and then the uh, shadow groups. You may have never heard of that term. But you'll hear about that a little bit. Creating and maintaining Active Directory objects. We'll talk about group policy basics, group policy objects, creating and editing and linking a GPO, show you how to do that. Look at the results wizard, the policy modeling wizard, two really cool tools that you can use. And then we'll talk about auditing and using Active Directory to get that done at GPOs. Then uh, we'll talk about the additional Active Directory server roles, the next major division that Microsoft identifies as far as things you should know. And we'll talk about server role basics, what they are. We'll talk about lightweight directory services, the server core, read-only domain controllers, federation services. And keep in mind on a lot of this, there's so many places they could go to ask you questions that I'm trying to give you tips on things to understand and know, a good overall general description of it to help you get your head around it. But again, on a lot of these things, you need to go to TechNet and just read some of the official documentation. Maintaining the Active Directory environment is another major division that Microsoft recognizes, and we'll talk about offline maintenance of the Active Directory database, the Windows Server backup tool, and then we'll talk about Active Directory certificate services on the end. Do a pretty in-depth animation here to help you understand the whole certificate services business, certificate authorities. Those are confusing for a lot of people, standalone routes, enterprise CAs, and all that stuff. Show you a diagram on that, help you understand that. Installing certificate services and then managing certificate services. We'll look at that. And then make sure you pay attention to the work files because you'll see that I put a DLL for one of the admin tools examples in there for you, for you to register on your server and play with. Got three or four white papers, step-by-step -step guides to help you get hands-on with these things. So we're going to cover a lot of stuff here. So just kind of get comfortable and go through this at your own pace. And keep in mind, this is not total test prep. You can't get that anywhere. But this is really going to push you on down the road point you to some things you need to understand. And in all of this, you're going to come across some things that you're just naturally weak in. And those are the ones you really want to hone in on TechNet, Microsoft site, just anything you can get your hands on. Just study more, but again, get lots of hands on. Can't say that enough. So that's where we're headed. Let's go.